So I, w I want to start by uh, explaining that uh, the, the man who had the altercation with the bear this morning has been released from the hospital. He's uh, resting and recovering, and he's fine, or as fine as you can be after such an event. So that's good news. I wanted to also tie into the mission and the uh, objective of our department is to avoid situations like this. That's why we spend extensive time and effort and money doing uh, public awareness and public announcements and advisements on living in, uh, in the rural countries and, and remote areas. And, and we have a campaign program called Keep Me Wild, which you can find on our website, as well as uh, one specific to bears, a program that we started called uh, Be Bear Aware. Both of those can be found on our website. And what those are is it's education for the public on ways in which to coexist with, with wildlife and with bears in particular when you live in the potential habitat uh, where wildlife uh, and human encounters may occur. So some of the basic things that, that are uh, part of that website and, that, and part of that campaign are uh, control and, and confinement of your trash, control and confinement of any type of things that, a, that wildlife would be prone to consuming or eating where that would lure them in, such as feeding your pets outdoors, watering your pets outdoors, uh, particularly right now in the, in the drought that we're in, is four or five year severe drought. Uh, food in the uh, remote countries and water in the remote countries is becoming more scarce. And these animals are gonna seek out food and water, basic, basic needs that, that the animals need to survive. So this particular case, what happened this morning was a 67 year old man stepped out of uh, his door onto his porch and originally I think the information has changed a little bit originally we believe that, that he uh, was out there for a moment before he was knocked uh, from behind the information I got recently said that perhaps as soon as he stepped out of the door he was struck from the from the right hand side and knocked him down uh, the man fought with his hands and feet sustaining uh, defense wounds to his hands and feet. Uh, throughout the altercation he had bite wounds and lacerations to the arms, legs, uh, abdomen, torso area, and then the, uh, the wounds to the hands and feet. Uh, the man was able to fight his way uh, away from the bear, got back into the house, and then drove himself to the hospital. Uh, at the hospital he was treated um, preemptively for rabies, uh, tetanus and received a round of antibiotics. Um, uh, other tests were done to check the extent of his injuries. Uh, at the interview at the hospital, the, the man had indicated that there was some type of food type trash on his, on his porch. Uh, after that, officers who were investigating the attack went to the residence the bear was not on scene when they arrived. They did locate some trash bag that had been uh, ripped open and kind of strewn about as though it had been scavenged through on the porch where the attack occurred, and which is consistent with what might have brought the bear to such a proximity of, of, of the residence. Um, after, at that point, officers began doing uh, searches of the area and utilizing resources from USDA uh, wildlife management. They've made attempts to track and or locate the bear and to my knowledge no uh, no tracking or location of the bear has been, been made. What happens when and if it's found? Uh, due to the extent of the injuries and the nature of the attack the bear would likely be euthanized if it's located. Is there any description of the bear? I do not have one. Um, there's several things that I don't have the answers to yet. What's the likelihood of the bear hanging around this area or do they traditionally just move on migrate somewhere? Uh, more than likely the bear's going to stick where it lives, which is probably wouldn't be too far, but I, I mean obviously I don't think he's going to stay at the, at the man's house per se, or even directly in the, in the direct vicinity of the house, but in the area I, I imagine so. This is this a rare thing? So again, human attacks uh, from wildlife are, are very uncommon. Um, 
we have received many more uh, calls of, of bear incidents, either either uh, uh, being close proximity to residences, getting into garbage cans, getting into garages, uh, and and in fact did have one other bear attack uh, just a month and a half ago. Where? So uh, that one I believe was in Megalia up in Butte County. And in that case, a, a woman was bit on the shoulder, I believe. And again, it was a, a situation where there was a uh, surprise conflict. I believe in that particular case, the woman came and let her dog out, and her dog got in a fight with the bear who was in her trash can. She got in the middle of the fight, and the bear bit her on the shoulder. What's your message to residents that live around here that are there? Yeah, the, the primary message is to uh, be responsible, understand that you live in the area where wildlife uh, live as well, and, and to coexist, you, there's just basic guidelines that you need to try to make sure that you uh, stick with, and control and confinement of your trash and your food or your animals' food and trash is, uh, is ultimately the, the most important thing and what's going to prevent any kind of occurrences like this from happening. Do we know why the man was um, out of his house at 4 o'clock? I don't know specifically why. Um, he stepped out onto his porch is all I know. So we don't know if he has said himself if he heard noises and maybe wanted to go check it out or anything? I did not hear any indication that the man was exploring or looking for what he thought may have been something abnormal. Is it common for a bear who attacks a human to get euthanized? I mean, it almost seems like if we're coexisting and it's also the bear's territory, why is the bear going to get you? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, is this a punishment for the bear? I mean, it's, like, it's not a punishment. It's, it's simply uh, a bear. So there's levels of, of type of uh, human wildlife encounters. Uh, for a bear to be seen, that's a, a low level. So for a bear to be seen in a specific proximity to uh, creating an imminent threat of danger to somebody, that's another level. And then actually attacking someone is act, is, would be the ultimate level of, of, uh, of an encounter that a, that a person could have. So in this so. type of situation, is it standard procedure to euthanize the bear then? It, I, I wouldn't say it would be standard. It's just based in this particular circumstance due to the extent of the injuries the fight that, that occurred, the extent of the fight, the extent of, of, of the encounter is uh, the reason that option is being considered. We have got any reports of it killing anything? I, we don't know this bear particularly. This is an uncolored, unmarked bear, so we, we have no idea what this bear has done before this or is doing now. What happens in the world? Uh, so our basic policy uh, for people, homeowners, protection for their self, uh, as residents, if there, if there's a situation where uh, the public is either immediately threatened by wildlife or someone else is immediately threatened or their property or animals or livestock is immediately threatened, an imminent threat, meaning without action, the attack or some negative consequence will occur, the public has the right to protect themselves or, or others or their property. And what do you suggest someone do then if they do encounter this bear or any other bear? Uh, leave it alone is the best thing to do. If, if, if possible, avoid the conflict, avoid what would draw the bear there. And uh, if, if the bear is not an imminent threat, you have the ability to take yourself and remove yourself from the situation. That's the best advice. And do you know what kind of bears would roam this area? Is it a California black bear? The only bears? bears in California are California black bears. And not to be confused with the color. Uh, the California black bears range in color from a light, a light blonde to a cinnamon to, to brown to, to black. How big can they get? An average adult bear can easily range in the 300 pound range. As you guys stand here and as you're familiar with the area, it's obvious we're in prime bear habitat, so it's, this isn't 
abnormal from the aspect of that there would be a bear here. I mean, I, I think that's pretty much a given as you look around. 